So you want beautiful cinematic skies like this, this or this in Unreal? Here is what to do. Create a dynamic sky using the built-in tools, play around with the angle of your light and realize it doesn't look very good. Sure, it's a great start, but compared to a real sky, it's just not realistic. It's not good enough. And since nothing looks more real than, well, reality, why don't we just use an image texture of a real sky? Load in a plane and apply an image texture of a sky. Great, but uh, yeah, that only works in some cases. So how do we fix this? In reality, the sky is obviously not a flat image in the background. It's more or less a 360 degree map. And luckily, that's the easy part. Polyhaven.com is a website that offers a large selection of different sky textures, free and ready to use. There is only one problem. What most people don't know is that there are actually two reasons to use HDR images of skies. Reason one, using it to light your scene and add realistic looking reflections. Reason two, final pixel rendering, which means using your HDR as the actual sky in the scene. And here's the catch. Most assets are simply not made for that. They either contain overlapping elements like trees or street lamps, or they don't show any sky at all. This is why it's important to look for pure skies only. When downloading, set the file type to HDR so Unreal knows what to do with it. Select the desired resolution. Usually the higher the better, but that obviously depends on your hardware. Keep in mind that if you plan to use long instead of wide angle lenses, your resolution should be a bit higher, as you only show a very small part of the image. Another great website I found is 2gacademy.net. They offer a great variety of different, high quality clean skies. And the best part is, like polyhaven.com, it's free. So check them out, you'll find the link in the description below. Inside Unreal, go to your Actors panel and search for HDRI Backdrop. If you can't find it, go to your plugins and activate it. Drop the actor into your scene, reset the location and scale it way up. Depending on your scene, you might also have to adjust the height of the projection center. Select the sky that you like and make sure to also add the image to the skylight component within the HDRI Backdrop. This way, you can adjust the intensity of your skylight independently from the brightness of your sky, which is pretty neat. If you have a regular skylight in your scene, delete it. Otherwise, it's going to interfere with the skylight component we just set up. Add a directional light and align it with the position of the sun in your backdrop. Play around with the intensity of your directional as well as your skylight and sky backdrop. Your sky atmosphere actor will make sure the scene is lit more or less correctly but it doesn't hurt to play with these settings as well. Lastly, if your directional light is very dark or even below the horizon line, make sure to change the color of your exponential height fog. You can just sample it from your custom sky using the color picker. Bonus tip, once your directional light and sky actor are aligned properly, you can simply select them both and rotate them until you find an angle you like. And that's it, you are now the master of skies in Unreal. The only thing I really don't like about this method is that it takes a lot of time to set up. So if you want to be able to do all of this in just one click, make sure to check out the next video and learn how you can save hours inside Unreal.